in the hazy heat of a Mediterranean summer. Orbiting the islands of southern Turkey is a yacht the colour of the sun. Her sophisticated lines and fusion of modern materials with ancient woods gives her an appearance as from another world. For this is no ordinary yacht. This is Edge. Built by Sarp Yachts in Antalya, Edge is the offspring of some of the world's greatest names in yachting, a marriage of red yacht design for the exterior and interior, together with Van Usanen for the naval architecture, resulting in this newcomer being a finalist in the Outstanding Exterior and Best New Series categories in the Boat International Design and Innovation Awards 2023. She really is a very special yacht. We filmed this yacht late last year at the Cannes Yachting Festival. Back then in the context of a boat show, it's very busy, we had to be quick about it, but still we managed to film every area of the vessel. And I'll put a link to that video at the end of this video. I was so impressed with what I saw though, that in that moment I vowed that if ever I had the opportunity to come back and film her in her natural habitat in the ocean, I would jump at that chance. And in fact, this morning as I was walking around, taking my notes, the overwhelming sense that I had when I saw how well everything is put together is that surely this is the best value for money yacht in the world today. And I don't make that comment lightly. Any yacht owner will know the premium that you pay for a hull colour that is anything other than white. Edge has this premium paintwork that is totally unique and beautifully executed. The handrails, along with many other features on board, and in fact the entire superstructure is made from carbon fibre, providing a weight advantage that the Van Usan and Naval Architecture package will no doubt benefit from. Vanusanen is the absolute pioneer of the fast displacement hull form and in fact the yacht has an impressive top speed of 21 knots and a range of a thousand nautical miles at 12 knots. Actually, while we're putting statistics on screen, let me also tell you that she is 26 metres in length, has a beam of 6.46 metres and a draft of 1.26 meters, so a great yacht for the Bahamas. That 1,000 nautical mile range, by the way, comes from a fuel tank with a 7,850 litre capacity and two MAN 800 horsepower engines. And talking of the engines in relation to a yacht that offers real value for her price, Let's start the walkthrough part of this review in the engine room. Just look at it. No other builder to my knowledge has ever gone to such great lengths to make an engine room design so pleasing to the eye, so unique. Surprisingly enough, actually a fun place to be. You may have owned 20 yachts before you buy this one, but I can guarantee that this will be the first yacht you own that you take your friends into the engine room to show them how impressive it is. From stem to stern, Edge is such a distinctive and impressive yacht. So let's take a look from stem to stern. The bow area is an impressive use of available space. You can sit and enjoy a snack here, sunbathe. And as you look around the exterior, you'll occasionally see these discreetly fitted hooking points so that a sun awning can be added. Back down the stylish side decks, past those huge floor-to-ceiling windows and we come to a well-proportioned aft deck. 
I actually sat here writing my notes for this video and enjoying the comfort and scenery around me. Although, of course, it's a great spot to enjoy dining too. Two steps down and we have two hatches. One leading to a laundry room and the other leading to that sensational engine room that we saw earlier. But for most guests on board, this will just be a passageway to the final section at the extreme aft of the yacht. The central section here is called a transformer. It can be used to launch a tender, as a wonderful and sizable swim ladder, or even as a diving board. And again, evidence of a builder who wants to provide a real quality product that owners will enjoy, a carbon fibre shower to rinse off when you've finished your daily swim. And we haven't even looked at the inside of the yacht yet. Just look at it, it is absolutely beautiful. I'm not going to talk too much over this part of the video because quite frankly, the images will do a much better job than I ever could. But I do want to point out to you something that Slava pointed out to me as he was filming on the yacht. If you look at the ceiling, now the ceiling itself is a beautiful example of design and craftsmanship. But come to the edge, and all the way down either edge are hidden skylights. Now that's a very clever design feature and Slava pointed out to me the reason that it's such a clever design feature so I'm going to let him tell you all about it. So actually that's the first time I see that kind of thing on a boat and I think that's the great decision because you can close the curtain so that you're hiding from the people around and especially in that kind of a crowded place as this one but still you can have a sunlight, so plenty of uh, daylight in your lounge. That's a clever idea. Perfect. Forward of the lounge and to port is the galley with high-end melee appliances, an American-style fridge freezer and this stylish finishing throughout. Actually, the captain pointed out to me that even the back of the door has the same finish to it. It's little details like this that I appreciate about the yacht. Further forward still, and we have the helm station. Turning back from the helm station and down the staircase, and we come to the staterooms. But wait, let's go back a moment. Just look at this staircase. Saab call it their tree of life staircase. Each step supported by branches and engraved with leaves and foliage. Saab didn't have to do this. They wanted to, and the effect is a delight. Back to the staterooms though. Forward, we have a sumptuous VIP stateroom and ensuite. It's elegant, but it's also practical with plenty of wardrobe space, storage, and a small vanity unit. Moving aft, to port is a lower lounge area that can be sectioned off for use as a stateroom. As a parent, I can see a good use for this in the late evenings when you want to spend some quality time with your wife, sipping cocktails and enjoying the sea breeze whilst the children fall asleep watching SpongeBob for the thousandth time. My kids are at the age to enjoy cocktails now, but they still love SpongeBob. And later, when they are peacefully snoozing, you can pick them up and place them carefully into one of the two beds in the twin cabin, just over to the starboard side. <music> 
to awaken from their childish slumber to wonderful sea views of their surroundings. I've left the master stateroom till last though, since it does deserve somewhat of a fanfare. Full beam, with panoramic windows, prestigious materials and fabrics, this is a beautiful and comfortable an owner's cabin as I have seen on any yacht of this size. Well, let's move on from the owner's stateroom, up the Tree of Life staircase, higher still into the branches, and to the flybridge, or the sun deck as you may prefer to call it. The helm station of the flybridge continues the fun, space-aged theme of the engine room, and whilst some yachts may try to hide it out of sight, Edge quite rightly celebrates it. The lifting and lowering table offers the perfect spot to enjoy formal dining under the shade of the hardtop, and crew can serve drinks and prepare grilled meat and fish from behind a well-proportioned bar. The crew themselves are accommodated in the bow, where there are two cabins with a head and even a small mess. I do have to strike a fine balance when I film these walkthrough videos. On the one hand, I want each video to be informative and engaging, but on the other hand, it is my role to market yachts that are for sale. That is, after all, the name of the YouTube channel. Then we hope that buyers will contact the broker and it's the broker's role to facilitate the purchase of the yacht if an agreement can be found. This yacht, though, has kind of got under my skin. I am so impressed with the quality of this yacht that I'm going to kind of overstep my role just a little bit and say to you that if you are a qualified buyer looking for a yacht in this size range, you might find bigger 85 foot yachts, but I don't think you'll find many, if any, yachts of this size with a fast displacement hull carbon fiber superstructure, the level of details and quality of craftsmanship of the interiors, I don't think you will find any other yacht that offers this kind of value for money. 